Hello everyone, welcome back to our next tutorial in Python tutorial series and this tutorial we will learn about while loops in Python. So why do we need while loops in why do we need loops in Python first of all? Uh, when we have to execute a, a statement several times then we need a loop. Okay. So in Python there are typically two types of loops one is while and second is uh, for. So for now in this tutorial we will learn about while loop. Okay. So let's head over to our PyCharm. I've already made a while loop.py file and I guess you know how to make a file and how uh, I guess you know how to operate PyCharm. If you don't, then just look in my previous tutorial. So let's start. First of all, what is the syntax of while loop? How do we write while loop? Okay. So uh, to write a while loop, uh, we need to take care of three things. First is initialization. Second, a condition, a terminating condition, rather we can say this. And the third one is increment or decrement. Okay, so just repeat with me. One thing you need to take care of is uh, initialization. Second, a terminating condition. Third, increment or decrement. So let me write three condition over here. So we will use comments. In comments, we will write one. Number one condition is initialization okay number two is terminating condition and number three is increment or decrement these three things are the must things which we know which we should know and the and we have to take care about these three things so how do we write a while loop so for writing a while loop we use a keyword known as while so let's do it just type while like this and give a space and here you will mention the terminating condition condition okay and a colon and inside this you will write your statements that you want to execute uh, for more than once so let's let's read this while loop with a simple example for example uh, you need to type welcome to nursery to varsity five times so one way is to just copy and paste the print statement five times and you are good to go but the optimal way is to use a while loop so for that while i less than or five okay and colon and this is the second statement uh, this is the second uh, condition which we have to take care of terminating condition so what what is initialization see we have used i over here so we must initialize i so that's where number one step comes in play initialize i with zero okay press enter now just write whatever you want to write print welcome to nursery to varsity and after that you need to mention uh, either increment condition or decrement condition if you don't if you didn't mention if you forgot to mention this then your loop will continue for infinity okay so here we have to increment the value of i and to increment the value of i by one is equal to i is equal to i plus one and in our previous tutorials we have learned what is the shortcut of this so the shortcut of this is i plus equals to one so if i execute it like this and one sec here we get the answer welcome to nursery to varsity five times one two three four five we can also trace this program when i is equal to zero it first enters the condition zero is less than five yeah the condition is true the statement is printed then the value of i is incremented by one now the i value of i is one uh, it will again go to the condition for comparing itself one is less than five it is true again the statement will get executed and when i equal to 5 this is the condition where the loop will ends okay 
so this is just the basic example of while loop uh, let's understand a nested loop when we use a loop inside a loop that is known as a nested loop okay now we will illustrate the nested loop example with a simple program so uh, the program the question which we are going to do is to print a triangle a right angle triangle using while loop okay so let's start first of all we will accept input from user that how how much sides does a user needs so for that let's uh, say n is equals to input and we will we want a integer input that's why we will type cast this input into int and also we need a, a message so we will write enter the number of sides okay we have taken input from user now uh, what are the three conditions that we have to follow number one is initialization number two is terminating condition number three is increment decrement so for that for example first step is initialization so we will initialize a variable known as i which will be equal to zero and then we will type while i less than n means the loop should the loop should execute for five times or six times or whatever we can say n times so if you don't if you didn't understand the logic behind this first i will explain the logic the logic is that the one number one loop uh, will take care of number of rows getting my point so if we need, uh, just imagine if you need three rows if you need a triangle with three rows like one one two one two three okay so the number of rows will be handled by this while loop and the pattern like in the first row there will be one star in second row there will be two star in third third row there will be three star that number of stars would would be handled by the second while loop i hope you understood this okay anyways we have done the initialization step we have done the terminating condition step and now for the next while loop we will initialize another variable so j is equals to 0 okay while j is less than i okay now here we will write print we need a star comma end equals to we are using a end statement here like this why we are using this end because by default in python the print statement has a uh, we can say after executing this print statement this function automatically throws the cursor to the next line and to avoid that we use this end okay so after executing this loop we want the second star okay we, we now want that we should jump in the next line because uh, for simplicity we can understand that in first row we want to print this much star and to go to next row we must jump we must want that our cursor jumps from first row to this next row so for that we will use this print statement this is a by default uh, used to jump to throw the cursor to the next line and now we will execute the program like this mm, we can enter uh, 10 and here is a right angle triangle uh, let me enlarge this one second here is our triangle okay so hope you have understood uh, the concept of while loop why we are using while loops and what is the necessity of while loops after learning for loop we will also come to know when where we need to use while loop and where we need to use for loop if you have any queries regarding today's tutorial you can mail us on the email nerd2where at the rate gmail.com thanks for watching stay tuned and and if you did like this tutorial just like share and subscribe and you can also follow us on these handles which i mentioned here for example facebook linkedin twitter and instagram so if you have enjoy learning